Welcome back to Simulacra. We just got access to a bunch of new stuff on everything, especially Spark and chats. Let's not do chats first. Let's, let's do the smaller stuff first. Mail. From Elizabeth at Faraday Security to Anna. Subject, study leave. Anna, hey, I got your application, but the boss is sitting on it for now. It's regarding that thing you brought up. Text me when you're in the office, and I'll explain. Elizabeth is the HR manager. The message that Anna sent originally was, Hey Elizabeth, following up the application of my two-week study leave? I've not heard from you since. I totally understand if it's not approved, I just need to know so I can prepare. Rainforest. <laughs> Amazon shipment. The Consumer Society Myths and Structures has been shipped. The Singular Objects of Architecture has been shipped. Okay, so we got the name of two books that Anna was interested in. That's probably important for something. Merv at Faraday Security. Subject, Present Exchange. Hey Anna, looks like you're my receiver for the next week's company gift swap. I know the gifts are meant to be a secret, but I don't like giving gifts that you ultimately don't want. So I'm breaking tradition, and we'll get you something that you truly deserve. Starts with tell and ends with you. Tell me your body size, and I will pick the perfect dress for you. You somehow managed to look so hot in office wear, so why don't I get you a smashing office dress? Wow, Merv's a creep. Tell me your body size, I'll pick the perfect dress for you. Make sure to give your bust, waist, and hip measurements. I want to get it right the first time. A sheath dress would be perfect. With a tighter and firmer bust to pair with those long legs, you would look fabulous. Some might say it's distracting. But if you have assets, you have to show it. Fucking creep. What was the conversation with Merv? Still with your boyfriend, just asking. Creepy, I'm just speaking my mind. God, yeah, they really are a creep. By the way, you might have noticed some weird sounds, like the sound of somebody tapping on a wall or on glass or something like that in the previous episodes. If you did, and were wondering whether that was coming from the game or if that was actually happening in real life, it actually came from the game. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe somebody was honestly tapping on a wall somewhere, you know? I live in an apartment sometimes. Stuff happens when people are, I don't know, putting things up on the wall or whatever. And so I kept getting distracted by those weird noises. And then when I was editing it, I realized, wait, that sound is in the game. <laughs> they did such a good job making it sound like something coming from outside of my headphones and happening in the real world that I actually just didn't know it was actually coming from the game. The right thing didn't. Didn't we already read that? Why is that at the top? Hmm. Dice roll insurance. <laughs> what a name. Ransom, when your life is worth money. Traveling has its perks. In fact, it's one of the best ways to make friends, experience global life, and bring back memorable videos and photos. Nothing tops that, except going to space. Crossing borders has its charms, which includes, whether you realize it or not, subjecting yourself to individual countries and their legal or cultural quirks, crime being one of them. And among some of the more harrowing experiences is the kidnapping for ransom. While armed robbery is not something to shrug off, the ordeal normally lasts no more than the robber is willing to hang around before undue attention or the police arrives. A kidnapping, however, is in the interest of the criminal to last as long as possible, 
to eke out greater financial demands upon the family whose member is now in the hands of rough, uncultured men across the ocean. What the hell is this article? At times like this, reporters, police, and even politicians have their limits in moving the minds of the kidnappers. What they want is money, and while the governments are all about not giving in to terrorists, the families have more practical matters to worry about, such as the life of their loved ones. This is where insurance will come in. The KNR insurance, or kidnap and ransom insurance, are backed by most insurance companies, which be... Wait, what? Which are... I don't understand that sentence structure, but, um, valuable is valuable tool in the hands of families negotiating with the kidnappers. Normally these premiums are rather high and meant for important members of companies or governments. But if you think you're traveling into dangerous areas and are of an asset yourself, do take a look at the packages these companies offer. Remember, money can always be earned back, but lives are a one way ticket. That is bizarre. That is bizarre. Oh, new video. From the Office of Admissions, the University of Cunningham, we have received your application to the School of Veterinary Science. We regret to inform you that you have not been shortlisted. Blah, blah, blah. We thank you. Blah, blah, blah. They didn't even say why. And they have to take three months for this? <laughs> Ugh, this is not helping. Yeah, that is frustrating. By the way, though, what weird, what's the weird thing happening in the background? Look at this, like, grate up here as the video plays. Look at that. From the Office of Admission, what is that? University of Cunningham, we have received your application to the School of Veterinary Science. We were... That's bizarre. Maybe there was something there that they wanted to cover up. Don't know what it could be, though. Uh, hmm. Another tweet from Anna. Today is going to be an interesting day. I can feel it. Shut the fuck up, Taylor. Yeah, nothing else. Oh, there's some comments. Anna even replied to a comment. I'm... Fine, just got caught up with work. That's all. Gonna take a short break. Don't worry about me. Hmm. I am not going to read what they wrote, except the very last bit. Wait, what is... Oh, this is more conversation recovered. This isn't new stuff. This is old stuff between Anna and Taylor. Okay, that's actually important. 8th of August. Taylor says, Titanic. Anna, what? Taylor, it's my icebreaker. <laughs> Anna, that's cute. People died, though. Taylor, yeah, I need to work on that. So animal person, huh? Dog? Anna, cat. Taylor, only one, I hope. Anna, one is a handful already. Not the crazy cat lady age yet. So your profile says you serenade upon request? Taylor. Yep. Anna. You sing? Taylor. Occasionally. Anna. Prove it. Taylor. I got my eyes on you. You're everything that I see. I want your heart, love, and emotion. Endlessly, I can't get over you. You left your mark on me. I want your heart, love, and emotion. Endlessly, oh. The singing was actually pretty good. Taylor's still a douchebag. Anna, oh wow, that's not bad. So is it true that the shower gives better acoustics? Taylor. Yeah, but I have to store the soaps and shampoos if I sing there. Anna. Interesting. Why is that? Taylor. Otherwise, it'll be a soap opera. Anna. <laughs> okay, you got me on that one. Taylor. Do I get something in return? Your number, maybe? Anna. I'll think about it. Oh, 
Okay, so that was the recovered one. This is them talking to me. Blah, blah, blah. Is she all right? Um. Oh, I accidentally selected an option. I wish that was true. Whoops. I'm just going to be a dick to him. You shouldn't make jokes right now. I mean, that's not being a dick, but I'm just not going to go along with anything he says. Sorry, I'm all ears. What's up? What happened exactly? Did Greg check her house or something? What about the post? He did, but no sign of her. Anna would have called her phone by now if she's okay. And somehow she makes a post exactly the same time as when Greg is checking in on her? Doesn't it sound a bit strange to you? Aw comes Razor. <laughs> The simplest come is the one most likely to be true. The simplest answer is most often correct. Right. So let's say, hypothetically, there's a possibility that Greg somehow did something bad to Anna, and he's hiding it from you. Just a random thought. What if Anna is deliberately trying to get away from Greg? Maybe he bombarded her with calls and messages to the point where she just went, screw it, and chucked the phone away. Given what I know about Simulacra, I don't think that's what happened. Like, he goes after people fairly directly. I know it can possess people, sort of, but in the second game, it didn't do anything like possessing one of the three and then using that person to hurt the other friends or, or anything like that. So I don't think it would just, like, straight up possess Greg and use them as an instrument. Go on. Think about it. What kind of person is Greg? He mentioned that he got blocked from her apartment. Daha! If they're indeed lovebirds, at most, he won't have the keys. But getting blocked is a strong word. Maybe she's keeping him away. I mean, yes, but because of the relationship, probably not because they're... You know, the demon simulacra. He is kind of a dick. And Anna's a pretty sweet gal. Why would she date someone like him? Being verbally abusive is not far from being physical. The phone's data was almost deleted when he checked her laptop. This is troubling. Is trying to obstruct justice? I think he's hiding something big in the phone. Otherwise, why would he want to delete the phone's data? I think it was an accident. Said every guilty person ever. All I'm saying is, I think there's more to Greg than he's leading on. Again, hypothetical. What else has he told you? Mm, you met Anna. If I met her, our job would be done, and I wouldn't be talking to you right now. Don't you believe me? No. Well, you're not making this easy. It's way easier to prove that you met someone than you haven't met someone. You can trust me. Scout's honor. I think before we move on, you need to confront him. Call him out. Mm, got a new batch of phone stuff to look at. Like a backup? Great. He's hiding something. I can feel it. If he did something to Anna, we need to know what it is. Remember to get your facts straight and ask him about his actions and behavior. Maybe he'll slip up and tell you something we don't know. And it's all chats now. 
Oh, tons with Greg. Nineteenth of July, Greg. Hey, since it was the cat's birthday yesterday, when is your birthday again? If I can close the next client, you're in for a treat. Anna, you keep calling it the cat. It has a name, you know. Greg, you're avoiding the question. I know the month. Anna, you get three guesses. And if you screw all of them up, you let me drive your car. Greg, no. Anna, yes. Greg, I could just ask Ashley. Anna, no cheating. Greg, texting her. Anna, no. <laughs> Greg, I win. Anna, I'll get you for this. You will regret this day. Count your friends and fort your pillows, for you'll need every comfort in the years ahead. Yes, I do not pity you at all. Greg. Um, they just laugh. Ha ha. Anna, hey, are we boring? Greg, what do you mean? Anna, when we were out last night, it was like everyone was 20-something, and they had some kind of futuristic job. A founder of a startup, game programmer, neuroscience researcher. Neuroscience researcher? Hold on. Um, that just reminded me of something that I looked at off camera and didn't tell you about. Remember when we were in that bizarro world when the phone was getting wiped? And I talked with some entity known as Allner, I think it was. I think it was A-U-L-E-N-E-R. Allner. Um, they said that if you want to find Anna, you have to find me. Like they're the, if you find me, you will find Anna. I think is basically what they said. And I thought their name must be an anagram or something like that. So I ran it through an anagram thing and it could be one of two possibilities, either neuro like neuroscience or unreal neuroscience made me think of that. I wonder if that was the person that they were out with. Greg, you work at a surveillance company. Anna, I know, not what I mean. Like, we just mainly go out, chill, chill plus Toby. You're a salesman, and I work stupid big data bullshit. Are we basic? Are we norm core? White bread? Marillo, hello. Hello, I'm looking for Anna. I believe this is her number. Hello? I think this is the answering machine. I'll just leave a message first. This is Detective Marillo from the police department. We received a report from one of your neighbors. She mentioned that there was a suspicious looking guy entering and exiting your residence. Can you confirm if this is true? Call us if you wish to report a burglary. Thank you and good day. Well, in the first game, Marillo has a very different voice actor from the second game. Greg. I'm a salesman, so no question there. Anna, dodging the question. Greg, 75% chance that at any given time, we are the most boring couple in the room. But who cares? Anna, are you bored of me? Greg, what? Fuck no. Where'd that come from? Anna, it's been bothering me. Last night, you didn't really want to dance. And I know you don't like dancing like I do anyway, but like you seem kind of upset about it. Greg, <laughs> no, I was just kind of tired. Anna, yeah? Greg, yes. Anna, can we hang out again tonight? I think maybe work stuff is getting to me. Greg, can't. Anna, why? Greg, work. Anna, I guess maybe you'll hang out with Ashley. Greg, okay. Anna, you tell me, right? Greg, tell what? Anna, if you're hiding something. Greg, I told you your present only comes on your birthday. Anna, it's not that. You are acting weird. Greg, you always say I'm a weirdo. Anna, weirder than usual. Greg, an example would help. Anna, I don't know, just a gut feeling. Greg, you're overthinking things. Anna, promise me. Promise me that everything is fine. Greg, what's gotten into you? 
Anna, just do it, please. Greg, okay, I promise. Everything's fine. I love you. Hmm, Anna didn't say I love you back. Greg, hey, you're mad. I can tell. You don't just storm out the house without saying anything. Anna, tell me. Greg, tell what? Anna, I want you to tell me why do you think I'm mad. Greg, tell what? That is the extension for a personal shopper. I assume that's their name, but it just looks like scribbles to me, so I don't actually know what that is. But 0405. Personal shopper extension 0405. Just write it down. Hmm. You know what I hadn't thought of? So I'm already suspicious that the Simulacra is trying to drive a wedge and kind of ruin um, Anna's life to basically soften them up and make them feel desperate and like they have to accept some sort of a deal and et cetera, et cetera, just like they did in the second game. But remember in the second game, uh, TRM, I forgot what that stood for, but that like boosting company for influencers, that entire company was just a ruse. Right, like that was the way the simulacra um, managed to get people is by posing as a boosting company. What if this um, personal shopper company is also the same thing? Who the hell is Yolanda? Ah, Yolanda. Right. Ashley mentioned Yolanda, seeing them. Greg, you look through my phone? Anna, I knew something was up. You could have fucking told me. How long were you going to wait? Greg, fuck. I made a mistake. I can explain. Anna, please do. Greg, she was the client I need for last month's target. We met a few times after work. She's persistent. I made a mistake. I own that. But everything after that was not me. Wait, what exactly is Greg saying? They were client. That Greg was trying to, like, woo. Met a few times. She's persistent. I don't understand. Is Greg admitting that they had an affair or not? Anna, bullshit. Greg, Anna... Not pregnant. Oh, they... Oh, that's from, like, Yolanda. That picture. You cheated on me and almost got her pregnant. This is unreal. Greg. I told you, I'm not allowed to just... Get rid of clients. Greg is being really coy about this. Given that they're not explicitly saying, no, I didn't sleep with them, it sounds like they are basically admitting implicitly that they did cheat on Anna. You're not allowed to fuck clients. Greg, she was the last clothes I needed. I know it's hard to believe. Wait, really, Greg? Needed to meet my sales target. That's why I cheated on you. It was really important, honey. I'm sorry. What the fuck? I mean, I guess... Unless this isn't actually Greg talking and this is the simulacra posing as Greg. Unless it's that, then... 
I, I don't think the Simi Laker drove a wedge into the relationship at all. Seems like Greg did that all on their own. Anna, I don't fucking care, Greg. Anna, Anna, leave me the fuck alone, Greg. Greg, Anna, let me fix this. <laughs> How do you fix this? Go back in time and unfuck Yolanda? Ashley, 2nd of August. Anna, he's been calling me for a few days. I've not been responding. Ashley, should I come over? Anna, I don't know. I keep going back and forth between being angry at him and feeling guilty about being so upset. Toby's the only lover I need. <laughs> and the cat. Actually, the full name is Tobias. I guess Toby's their uh, nickname. I should write that down. First woman desperate enough to to upright marry their cat? Upright? I don't think that's the right word. Time to enter the fringes of society, Ashley. Time to be cat wife. Do you, Anna, take Tobias the cat as your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. Yes, I do! Ashley, sounds terrible. Anna, leave my shit jokes alone. <laughs> Ashley, okay, so I'm gonna call you later, okay? Anna, yeah, okay. Ashley, heart. 3rd of August. Hey, how are you feeling, pretty girl? <laughs> how are you feeling, pretty girl? God, they're so gay. Anna, bag of rocks. Bag of those bricks made out of poop they dry out. In developing desert communities, they use them to build amazing houses with decent insulation and stabilize a small rural economy. And the nonprofit takes a glammy picture of whoever, of the whoever people and the CEO, and you feel weird. Because you're like, is this picture boasting about helping people or is it promoting the CEO and their self interest somehow? And in the background of the pic, there are unused extra poop bricks, which will get rained on, return to a former but lesser poop form. And eventually dry out in the sun, leaving nothing but a stain. And I am that stain. Ashley. Clap, clap, clap. Anna. I've been reading a lot. Ashley. Call me if you need to, okay? Hmm. I've been reading a lot. Um, the 3rd of August. What about those books? This was, oh, this is February. So yeah, a long time ago. I guess probably the singular objects of architecture might be the one that told them about poop bricks. I don't know. Oh, did this go, it went straight to the bottom, didn't it? Fourth of August. Uh, Ashley. Hey there, handsome. Anna. Who, me? <laughs> Ashley. How are you doing? Anna. About the same. Ashley. Let's hang out tomorrow. Anna. I don't know. I'm pretty content in my angry, lonesome hole. Got a good book rhythm going. You know, Baudrillard? Baudrillard is way ahead of his time. Who am I going to trust now when I turn on the TV? Ashley, why won't you hang out with me tomorrow? Hang out with me. I'm hotter than your cultural commentary. Anna, eh. Ashley, be my date. I'll be a good date. We'll get pretty, and we'll go on the town. Anna, eh. Ashley, come on. Anna, are you alright? What's gotten into you? Hello? And the no reply? Hey, um, God, I just read my text. I am so, so sorry. Can you do me a favor and just ignore all of it? <laughs> I had a wee bit too much to drink last night and I have no idea what I was saying. I'll make it up to you, okay? 
I'm going back to sleep, so I'll catch you soon, all right? I didn't know what I was saying. I'm sorry that I was opening up about how much I love you and I'm super gay. Is it time to confront Greg? Mm, got something on Spark first. Another random thought. What if Greg killed Anna? Well, maybe kill is a strong word, but what if he hurt her or something and tried to cover it up and all you hear from him is a lie? Huh. Huh. Actually, before we confront Greg, we should definitely uh, call the personal shopper thing. Uh, Ferris and Kane. Welcome to Ferris and Kane, your personal shopper directory. Press 1 to request... Thank you. To help us select a personal shopper for you, please indicate what you would like to purchase. Press 1 for robes and cloaks. It was a dress. For dresses. If you know the extension number of your favorite shopper, please press the four-digit ex- Thank you. Your personal shopper assigned to you is Yolanda. Due to our increasing demand, we can only take a limited amount of clients at a time. After this call, please wait for us to text you at our latest convenience. Thank you for picking Ferris and Kane. Have a nice day. At our latest convenience, not our earliest convenience. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs>